Hi friends, welcome to yet another edition of QuickTip videos brought to you by dataplatformcentral.com. In this edition of the QuickTip videos, we shall see how line chart with dynamic meshes can be created in a Power BI watchbook. Quite often, we have lots of scenarios where we need to use line charts for plotting different meshes. Some of the cases, we would require users to selectively choose the measure that they need to plot on a line chart. In this video, we shall see how this can be achieved by using a simple slicer. There are two main concepts that we will explore as a part of creating this dynamic line chart. The first one, of course, is a slicer which the user uses for choosing the measure to be plotted. The second one is an interesting new feature that came into in Power BI in the latest version, which is called Calculation Groups. Calculation Groups helps us to reduce the number of measures and group similar kind of aggregation activities outside the model. Let's see how these two concepts can be applied in this particular example for creating a line chart with dynamic meshes. Now let's look into a sample Power BI workbook. The first step is to create a table with some static values which will be used for the slicer. So in this case, depending on the number of meshes we need to dynamically plot inside the graph, we will be creating a table with those static values. So for the sake of this example, I'm creating this table called measure table, which consists of four measures called quantity, items, revenue, and stock. The DAX function I'm using is a union, and inside the union, I'm using a row function to generate each row of the table. This is a common way to generate a table on the fly using DAX programming language. So at the end of this, you'll get a table with two columns. First one denoting the ID corresponding to each measure and second one corresponding the list of measures which are going to be used for plotting inside our line chart. Now that we have created the table with the static values for our slicer, the next step is to create the expressions for these measures corresponding to the slicer selection. For this purpose, we need to create a conditional measure inside one of our tables which will have the calculation expression for each of these measures, which will be selected using the slicer. Since in my case, most of these corresponding measure columns are inside sales or items, I have chosen to create the column inside sales or items table. So on expanding the sales or item table, I have a newly added measure called selected measure, which if you see the expression, it has a conditional expression, which based on the selection of the value from the other table that we have created for the slicer it will choose a particular expression for representing that particular measure so if you see that expression if has one value of measure table of measure which means the selected value that comes from the other table which is used by our slicer and we have a switch function here which will check for the value so switch values of measure table of measure will give you the value that is being selected from the slicer and if that value corresponds to quantity it will return some of say sales or items of quantity which is the calculation expression for finding out the total quantity similarly if you are choosing the choice as items from the slicer it will calculate the count of sales sales, sales or items of item id cross filter so basically this expression calculates the item count Similarly for revenue, we have the expression corresponding to the revenue and similarly for the stock, we have the expression corresponding to stock. So what happens is that when you have a selected measure uh, like this, based on what selection user does in the slicer, automatically this measure will apply the corresponding expression and returns you the value for the corresponding measure that you have selected in your slicer. Similar to this, there should also be another measure which should be created for dynamically giving you the title corresponding to the selected measure. This is used for setting the dynamic chart title which will keep on changing based on the user selection of the measure value. So I have added one more measure inside that which is called the measure title 
and for that I have given a, a conditional expression based on the selection from the slicer to generate the title for the chart dynamically. If you see it has values from the measure table of measure which will return the selected value from the slicer and to that it will append by category forming the dynamic chart title. Now comes the most interesting part. Now let's see how we can create a comparator for plotting the various uh, measure later lines. For this purpose, let's create a calculation group, which is one of the most exciting features that have come up in Power BI of late. So for that purpose, we need to go to external tools and click on tabular editor. Tabular editor is an external tool where we can create calculation group and it can be installed and registered within Power BI so that you'll get the icon within the Power BI desktop launch. Once the tabular editor is launched, you can see the Power BI model as a analysis services tabular model opened with its tables and relationships and all the objects being shown inside. You can see the relationships and see the tables and see translations, all the related things can be seen inside your tabular editor. So now before because we want to create a calculation group we have to expand tables right click on tables and you'll get the option to create a calculation group click on create new calculation group which will open up a calculation group and inside that you can give it a name so we can give it like say comparator and inside a calculation group we can create calculation items so we can select create new calculation item option and you can create calculation items so we are going to create a placeholder for the current value we are going to create a placeholder for the last period value and we are also going to create a placeholder for the previous period value so once you have created all these calculation items and once you have filled in the formulas the calculation items will look like this so for the current calculation item all you want to do is select just to add selected measure function which will return whatever function that is currently selected in the context the value of that function will be returned and for the last period you have to calculate the value of that measure which is in the current context as on the last period for that purpose we'll make use of same period last year function so the expression will look like calculate selected measure same period last year of your date column so whatever measure you are going to select the same measure as on the last year it will calculate the value of that measure and will return it and finally you have the previous period in which case instead of same period last year we'll use of use date add and go two years behind to find out the value of the selected measure at that period of time so once you have all done with all these calculated group and calculated items creations, you can go to file and click on save so that each of these calculation items and the calculation group will get deployed onto your Power BI model. So assuming that it happened successfully, once you go back to your Power BI model, you can see that it asks you to refresh the model. In my case, I've already done the data change points. That's why it didn't notice any more changes after that and hence there was no refresh being required so now that my model has these two new tables the measure comparator which i added now as a calculation group from uh, tabular editor and also the other measure table which i have added for using the slicer it is, it is evident that I have, all the changes have been applied to my model and i also have inside my sales order items the two new measures I have added, one for the measure title, another one for the selected measure. So now that everything is in place, the next step is to create the line chart, which is going to show us the dynamic measures. For this purpose, the first step is to create the slicer, which will have the details of all the measures, which we can select for plotting inside the line chart. So click on the slicer visual and for the values, we have to drag and drop from the measure table, the measure column once it is done you can see the values of the measures that you have added inside to make it more beautiful i am going to make it into 
the horizontal format so that it will come as buttons rather than as uh, selection values so my slicer is now ready now I am going to create uh, the line chart so for that click on the line chart uh, visual okay so this is the line chart visual that we are going to use for the dynamically plotting those uh, meshes so for the line chart we need to select for the axis we need to select the date axis because we are going to plot each of the meshes over a period of time so click drag and drop the uh, date axis on that and probably we need only till months so i'm going to remove the day and for the values we need to select the selected measure which you have created so drag and drop selected measures inside that okay and you need to make sure that you are reaching up to the month level so now this is up to the month level and it is showing the selected measure which is by default the revenue that is the based on our switch expression that we have written earlier by default if nothing else is selected it will consider revenue as the measure so now what we need to do is like we need to add the comparator part like how many lines needs to be added so when when we add the comparator here it is going to split the single line into multiple lines one for current one for last period one for previous period for that purpose we already have the measure table along with the attribute as name created this is the one that is created using the calculation group that we created from the tabular editor try and drop this onto the legend and you'd see that immediately it will get split into three lines and so if you see the lines it corresponds to current period last period and the previous period these are the three measures that we created as a calculation items inside our calculation group so this will provide us with the comparator facility now we need to also add one more slicer so as to enable the user to select which one of these lines they want to see along with the current line for this purpose again you have to click on a slicer so that it creates a slicer visual and inside the slicer you have to select the value of this so that value will come from this measure comparator and again if you go and make it horizontal it will look a little bit more appealing So the slices are ready and also our graph is also ready so as specified we have two slices using which the users can determine what to be shown and also the comparator that needs to be shown along with the actual values now one more thing we need to do here is like because it is going to show a dynamic measure we don't need to show a static uh, title for the axis so we need to turn off the title for the y-axis and instead we are going to add a dynamic chart title for that purpose we will go to the title we will add a dynamic expression for that the expression will is already stored inside one of the fields which is our measure title field inside measure uh, sales order items so i have already added the measure corresponding to that just select the measure automatically it will change if now if you see if you click on items it will automatically become items by category it will only show the item related um, current value item related previous value and item related last period value you can see the tooltip which clearly shows like current number of items last period items and previous period items now if you don't want to see everything you can just select on one of these selections so it will only show the current line if you want to see only current line and the last period you can select both current and the last period and last period and it will show the lines for both current and the last period like that based on the user choice it can show any measures and also show the corresponding compared lines Every time you see the value keeps on changing based on the comparator lines. So now when you select revenue, it will be current revenue versus last period revenue. When you select quantity, it will be current quantity versus last period quantity, etc. As seen from the demo, it's very easy to create a line chart 
which can plot dynamic measures by including a slicer and also by defining a calculation group on the background. When the user selects a particular measure, the graph will automatically go ahead and plot the corresponding measures and the calculation group will make sure that it is capable of showing the plotted measure and also the corresponding comparator lines which are included as a part of the calculation group. And a second slicer can be included for the selective inclusion of one of the one or more of the comparator lines. Hope you enjoyed this quick tip video on how to create a line chart which can show dynamic measures and also the comparators. As always, feel free to let me know your uh, honest feedback. And for such uh, short tips, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, dataplatformcentral.com. Thank you for your time and have a nice day. Bye.